Oh, now where has my little one gone in our new home? Hmm? Where, oh, where could they be? Are they under the wooden bench? Hmm. No. Not under the table either. No. Hmm. You know, living in a new place, it is just so hard to know where to look. Oh, dear. I do worry where they've gone. No. <sighs> This just won't do, now will it? If I cannot find my little fluff ball, I can't tell them that there's fresh cookies in a secret location. Hmm? Still nothing, huh? <laughs> oh, my little fox is so clever, you know. Always so good at hide and seek. <laughs> And it is always so hard to find them. <laughs> Stand still, just so still, just like a statue. <laughs> ah, but you know, the funny thing is that most statues don't giggle. Ah, I found you, little fox. Come here. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. No, you are getting groomed. Come here. <laughs> Oh, come on. You want to make mommy happy, don't you, little one? <laughs> yeah? Then won't you let me make your coat luxuriously soft? Oh, now that's my good little cat. <laughs> you know that? Yeah. Ever since you were just a tiny little kit that could fit in the crook of just one arm. <laughs> Never made much of a fuss. You were always a good little fox kid. <laughs> I mean, sure, you'd hide behind my coattails whenever the mailman would come up, and you were never one for the wilds like your father. But that always made me a little happy, you know? <laughs> you were the best thing that ever came into my life. The day that you were born was the day that I realized heaven, heaven right there in my arms, just, just beaming up at me with those little pudgy paws just reaching out and, <sighs> sweetie, you used to be so, so small, only just this big, <laughs> the fluffiest little ears and like two little puffballs around your head. <laughs> Oh, and don't get me started on your tail swishing about. <laughs> oh, it was so tiny and cute. Ah, but, I mean, you're still small, though, aren't you? <laughs> I suppose you'll always be Mommy's little kid, hmm? <laughs> yeah, you were always smaller than the other kids, but that just made you my special little fox. Delicate and tender and... Sweet and thoughtful. I've always felt like you needed a little more looking after. Especially since you were always taking care of others. Even as a little one. I mean, a littler little one. Well, I mean, you've been doing that since you were only knee high. I don't know where you got that sense of duty. Maybe your father. He was a good man. Not a good father, but a good man. Hmm? Oh, well, we can all be good and bad at the same time. Your father was very brave. And he was a bold man. He defended us when the wolves attacked. And he went to war so we could be free. But... At home? At home, he... He was just lost. Traumatized, even. His compulsion to run from the hauntings of his past, they... They just took over. But your father was a great man. Just a terrible father. 
You deserved better. I wish I could have given you better. But I guess that's why you're such a jewel in my eyes, little one. You? You are the best thing to come from knowing that man. Your smile and your words and those adorable eyes just shining up at me whenever you ask for sweets. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you make my world brighter just by being in it. <laughs> That's right. Now, little fox, I'm done brushing you, so look here in the mirror. Look at this lovely coat of yours. Isn't it just gorgeous? <laughs> well, just between you and me, you were the cutest kit in the litter back home. Hmm? Oh, no, no, you were definitely an only kit, but everyone else kind of had their babies around the same time, you see. <laughs> but you? Oh, sweetie, you were definitely the cutest. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, little fox, will you make me a promise? That's a little selfish, but I do hope you'll agree. I would like for you to never let the world take your shine, okay? This glossy coat, these shining, hopeful eyes, I hope you always have them. Okay? And I hope you know that I will always be here for you. I will be here for you and until the last of my days. And I love you so, so much. And I will never give you up. Not for anything. It doesn't matter how old you get, little fox. You will always be my little fox. Okay? <laughs> I will always take care of you. And I will always love you. And you know what? I am always so incredibly proud of you. You have the purest heart, and I just want to protect it. I want to protect you, my precious little kid. Hmm? Hungry, are you? <laughs> oh no, I see you eyeing the snacks over there. <laughs> Here, you can have two sticks. Teriyaki is your favorite, right? <laughs> yeah, I made some last night while you were napping. Is it good? <laughs> well, you're my favorite, and I think you're pretty sweet, too. <laughs> oh, what's this? You get a little snack, and you're about to run off. Oh, come here. No, no, no. No, you know as well as I do that was a good night snack. <laughs> Yes, because if you do get up, I know, and you know, that you will just end up crashing somewhere. <laughs> no, because remember last time? You fell asleep in that cupboard while waiting to play hide-and-seek that I didn't even know about. <laughs> no, my cutie. The sun's going down, and you'll probably pass out soon enough. So, come wrap yourself in a little ball and bury yourself in my arms. No, oh, that's a good kit. I love you, sweetie. <laughs> you always do so well for mommy. Very good. Now, let me just sweep my tail over the both of us and just cocoon the two of us together in this little blanket fort of sorts we have here. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Isn't this cozy, little fox? Just you and me curled up together as... Uh, oh. <laughs> well, 
I was going to say just as nightfall hit, but it seems a storm saw fit to give this old town a bit of attention just before we sleep. No, 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 no. Don't you worry, little fox. We're safe. Okay? Hey, you're safe. I've got you. Okay? Yeah, you're safe here in my arms. Mm. And I'll always be here to help you through the storms. Okay? No matter what happens, I will always do whatever I can for you. Hmm. Now just snuggle in here, little fox. Hmm. Hmm? What's that, little one? A question? Well, of course. Ask away. Will always last forever? No. <laughs> What a clever little fox I have, indeed. So curious, so curious. And what am I to tell such a smart fox, hmm? Let's see. Hmm. My dear little fox, it matters not the realm or time. I am always loving you. And I am always there to support you. Yes, no matter what. In this life, the next, and those after it, I will be here to hold you and protect you in the darkest storms. Oh, I love you, little fox. Now, it's time for all good little kids to go to sleep. And you'll be a deer and snuggle close. Won't you? No, oh, that's my good little fox. <laughs> now just nestle yourself into my chest and let me wrap my arms around you. <laughs> Pull my tail back around. Of course, feeling a little chilly. We're just like being cocooned like that. <laughs> Aww, are you wrapping your tail around me too? <laughs> Gonna keep me nice and warm. Oh, such a dutiful little fox. Oh, but tired all the same. Big yawn, huh? <gasps> Goodness, your yawning makes me yawn. <laughs> oh dear, I think we better both hurry on to sleep. Now, close your eyes and feel me wrapped around you. Hugging you close, cocooned with our fluffy tails like this. <sighs> it's so peaceful. Oh, and you are so sleepy. My sleepy little fox. They'd like nothing more than to drift to sleep in my bosom. Dreaming of clear skies and warm sunny days. Chasing butterflies and getting into mischief. <laughs> my adorable little kid. So curious and playful. Romping through the grass, playing under the falling leaves. <laughs> My sweet little kit, they play and play just all day. And by day's end, we slumber and snore together all day, all day. Good night, little fox. I love you.